Hello again, back for the second part of the video. Um, I'm in here at the moment doing this one because uh, my girlfriend and her mom are in the lounge and um, they're just talking but because the walls are quite thin, it's probably quite distracting for people trying to watch this. So anyway, so we're back. Um, we've got one from, I've heard some good stuff about these people, so hopefully this will be a good one. Um, Enigma Football. So there's their socials if you want to have a look. Um, Hopefully, we'll get a good one. We'll just get, get the box cracked open. Um, annoyingly, there we go. I'm going to put all these funny faces. I'm trying to. I've got it open. Yeah. Oh, this one looks really nice. Um, okay. So here we are. It's a purple shirt. It's from a Turkish team called Goz Tepe. Um, it's quite a nice, it's a, it's a quite nice colour for me. Oh my god, I just the squeak of that door. I'm sorry, the squeak of the chair, sorry about that. Um, yeah, the lighting's not the best in here in the Conservative, so you just have to bear with me for this part of the video. I think this is less annoying than it would be if you could hear what I was hearing in the background. Yeah, it's very good. Like I said, because I'm a big size guy, I think these companies are limited in their choices because not every club has my sizes in. But yeah, this is actually really nice. I love the colour. Um and it feels nice as well. It's it, it's um it feels like a polo shirt more than actually a football top. So I hope this is actually a football top and they haven't they've just they've not given me a polo shirt to take them in. But yeah, Umbro. Um, show you this. Let's show you a bit of close up. So that's the on the back, and then I'll show you the tag from the set. That's the Umbro badge there, and then you've got the club badge there, like so. Um, nice stripes on the collar, sleeve on there. Um, yeah, it feels it feels weird. It doesn't feel like a football top. Burgundy. There you go. That's why I like it. Burgundy. I love burgundy. Reminds me of Daniel Bryan during his heyday in WWE. So yeah. So in a second, I will come back and I'll let you know how much this could cost me if I bought it separately away from Mr. Boxes. And I'll have it on as well. So back in a sec. Right. So I'm not happy. Um, first of all, this is what the shirt looks like. As you can see, it's quite tight on me. Um, this is meant to be, I think, a 3XL, 4XL. It's not meant to be this tight. Second of all, the shirt is a 2021 third shirt for Gostepe on classic football shirts. Bearing in mind, they are probably having a sale at the moment, so it might be that. But this shirt sells for 15 quid. Um, so this is Enigma football shirts. Bear in mind this, okay? I personally would not recommend you buying from them. I paid £35 for this shirt. I might have had a discount of 10%, so bear in mind that. I don't know. But even at £30, the shirt probably cost them five quid. It sells on classic football shirts for 15 quid. And they've basically charged me 20 quid more, which is more than double the price. I am not happy about this. This is the first time I've actually been really disappointed in a football shirt company so i'm going to email them or message them on their socials i'm going to hope they can rectify this i i can probably ask them if i can just return the shirt and um either get my money back or return the shirt and swap it for something else i will tell them straight though that i don't want a shirt that that, that probably you know i can buy myself for 15 quid i want to feel like there's a bit more back and don't get me wrong i know these companies need to make money so I understand if it was like say twenty five pounds, I can get it for twenty five pounds, and I've paid ten pound more for the mystery. That's fine. I can I can respect that. That's ten pound profit for the company, or well, more than ten pounds because they buy these shirts in bulk, so they're making money. When it's fifteen pounds, it's it's taking the mick, um, taking the piws. So yeah, it's comfy. It feels comfy. It feels like a polo shirt. It doesn't feel like a football shirt, which is not what I wanted. Um, and it's a little bit itchy on me, to be honest. But I think that's more to the fact that I've just been to the barbers today, so it might be that. 
But anyway, I'm going to get in touch with them. Um, we've got two more mystery shirt boxes to open up soon. I'm waiting for them to... Hold on, bear with us. Helicopter hovering over. Um, I will have two more to do. And they will take a couple of days to record them because I haven't had them yet. And we're now on Saturday, so there won't be any deliveries now until probably Monday. Um, sorry, just burped. Sorry. Um, yeah, so hopefully by that point, I will have an update on the Enigma football shirts release one way or another. I'll let you know whether they... I think, to be honest, they have a standard returns policy. They probably have like a swap shirt policy as well. So, yeah, we'll, we'll sort it out. Anyway, I'll be back soon. Um, with the next part of this video and hopefully it'll be sorted right hello again i have an update um so basically i got in touch with enigma um enigma football there we go and i explained why i wasn't happy um to do with the size and the fact that it didn't feel like an actual football shirt it is actually because uh goz tepe's third shirt so i stand corrected on that one but the shirt was too short in length and also like i said it, i could have got 15 15 quid i paid 35 quid i i want something in the middle of the two i don't want to feel like i'm getting ripped off but i totally understand as well they need to make money as well um the, the person i spoke to an email he was very nice very kind said i could happily exchange it they'll make sure that the shirt that i get will be a better value for what i paid so i'm uh hopefully going to be happy because today this turned up so this is hopefully going to be a good one. Now, if it's not, I'm not going to bother complaining. I'm just going to not buy from them again because at the end of the day, it, like, I'm not asking for like some, uh, something perfect. Like I'm not expecting perfect shirts. Don't get me wrong. Same up though. I got this nice Denmark shirt from uh, Mystery Shirt Box. I got I got a, a Bayern Munich shirt from a couple of years ago. So um, I got a Rangers shirt, so they're not too bad considering, right, the card I've just took out, I've not looked at it. Um, here we go. I did purpose, I did make sure, I said to him, please not a white shirt because I don't like wearing anything that's white because I just know what I'm like on the bit. So this one is not white. This one is red and black, which I'm not complaining about. Um, I've got no idea. Hold on, did you just see it? I probably, I just showed it. I don't think you saw it. So there you go. For uh, people who want to have a quick guess. Uh, all right. Let's open it off. Is it a Bologna? Is it a Genoa, a Genoa shirt? Have I said that? Genoa? Genoa, not Genoa. I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyway. Oh, it's Caligari. Do you know what? This actually is a pretty cool shirt. I'll tell you about that in a sec. But anyway. Let me show you the shirt first. I quite like that. I, I, I haven't had um, an Italian team shirt yet. So Caligari, Cal Cal Caligari, Caligliari, Caligliari. I don't know. I'll find out later. But yeah, the pattern's really cool as well. Look, it's such a nice pattern that is. And then I don't really like the sponsorship logo. It looks a bit naff, but. You know they've got to make money. They've got to try. They've got to get whatever response to get. But I like the I like the colours. And then you got this at the bottom. Um. Yeah. So what I'll do. Um. Actually, before I tell you, so basically the reason why I like this shirt from Cag Cagallari, Cagall um, is basically years ago, about three or four years ago, I used to gamble quite a bit. I don't really gamble that much now but i there was loads of these different games happening and um at half time i did a crazy multi bet on because basically all the teams that were meant to be winning weren't winning so at half time i just literally just did a super hinds what they call a super hinds and that on all the teams coming back and winning the odds were like super crazy and i only spent about two quid on the bet so it wasn't a major loss if i lost but basically all seven teams come in um, and at the time i was i was going to win i was it was either going to be 200 or 900 i needed um Cagliari to to win they were drawing free free with sampdoria and i would have won 200 quid if it stayed free free which i would have been more than happy with but then Cagliari, um which i'm probably i'm sorry any fans of the team I'm, if i'm getting that wrong i do apologize but they basically scored in the last kick of the game one four three absolutely buzzing i wouldn't like 950 quid or something like that so i managed to get um 
a new laptop with that money so i was i was quite because that's a lot of money for me back then back then uh it still is now actually i'm not like i don't mean that in a nasty way but um yeah so i'm quite happy i'm really happy it feels quite nice and soft as well i just hope it fits me because you know what it's like with shirts now according to the tags um apparently this shirt is made from um recycled plastic bottles so that's good I don't know if that means the shirt or just this label. I don't know. The tag, sorry. But yeah, there's no size on here. Let's have a look. 4X. So it says 4X large there. Um, you, yeah, I think you can see that. There you go. So what I'm going to do is in this next, in a second, I'll be back. And I'm going to research. I'm going to find out what one this is. I'm going to find out how much it costs me. Um, but I think this is going to be worth more than the Gos Tepe third shirt so I think I'll be ha I'll be quite happy with this and also like I said they're a team that I, I love because they won me 900 quid so yeah so I'll be back in a sec and I'll have it on as well and then I'll show you what it what it looks like on me right so here it is on me yeah it's it's, it's a bit tight but I mean football shirts are going to be tight on me I've, I've come to the terms with it it is what it is um but yeah I'm sorry I'm just going to put this this way <laughs> but yeah I like the shirt. I like the I love the color. I love the color. Um, it's nice. It feels soft. It's uh, it's a nice fitting one. Uh, nice feeling one. That nice fitting, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's all right. So, uh, I had a look on line. So this is from the two thousand and twenty two two thousand twenty three season. Um, if it was the year later, it would have been worth the the one from a year later, which is literally the same. Other than, sorry, that badge there is, um, it's a different, like there's a red tint on it and everything, but it's literally the same shirt other than that. But the the one from the 2023-2024 season, which obviously is the season just gone, um, on classic football shirts for 50 quid. Whereas this one is 30 quid. But 30 quid is twice the amount of money that the other shirt was. So I have to give um, Enigma Football credit for making it right. I'm always fair, um, and I appreciate the fact that they wanted to make it right. They did feel like they wanted to go out of their way. So thank you to them. Um, initially, I would have said to people, be wary about buying from them because of that, but they've made it right. So if you do buy from them, um, be, please, first of all, be re realistic with your aims and what you want. At the end of the day, um, you're not going to get absolute amazing shirts every time. I've the last couple of mystery shop video the mystery shirt videos i've done i've been quite disappointed with a couple of the shirts um that i got but i have kept i kept the perth glory one i did return um the other one because it was it was too it was just too small on me so and because it, it's white as well so i just asked them to send me another one not white preferably 4xl if they've got them if they haven't got them 3xl but can they try and make sure it fits me all right so that one will come and I'll probably do the next part of this video will probably be that one. It'll be probably at the end of this week. But yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a nice shirt. Like I said, I quite like this. And, and they're a team. They're a team that, like I said, are uh, a team that I, I love simply because they won me money. So yeah. So overall, thank you Enigma Football um, for the shirt. Thank you for making it right. I will email them later to say thank you as well because I do appreciate it. Um, I probably will leave them a good review as well, like I do with most people. I, if if they didn't, if they sent me another shirt that was basically not very good, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have left them a bad review. I just wouldn't have left them a review. But because they've made it right, I feel like, um, you know, they've made it right and they've sorted it. And uh, and I've got a really cool t-shirt, a really cool shirt. The only thing is, is I'm not going to be wearing this one out and about. But I can wear it when I'm doing my football stuff because you can only see. When I'm doing it, you can usually just see this at the most, but I can just do that, for instance, and that'll be all right. It's, it, it, it gets to when it gets to that bit there. No one wants to see that. So, <laughs> um, but I am working on it. I am working on it. Slowly but surely, I am getting there when it comes to losing the weight. So, yeah, right. I'll um, On that note, I'll be back with the next part of this video in a second um, when we fast forward four or five days time in real life. And I'll have another shirt to review. So bear with me in one minute. Right, I'm back for the next part of the video. Now, this part is a replacement shirt from Pulp Kits. 
Um, I love this uh, gold colour thing, uh, gold packaging. But yeah, this is the replacement shirt because the other shirt they sent me, um, oh, I can't remember what it was now. It was in a, it was in a, is it Arabian type of team? I think. I, oh no, it wasn't. It was um, Samalek, wasn't it? It was Samalek, white Egyptian team shirt, but. Um, basically it was too small for me and it was white and I just said can you just replace it so I asked them specifically not white so I'm hoping now this one isn't white um, but this one might be a very long video which is part of the video so um, there we go we'll just get it into it I'm having to be quick because the uh, uh, anyway it doesn't matter right so this one looks pretty cool actually I like the pattern on this one already um, let's zoom in here oh, the best way to do it right so let's get this out of the bag yeah it looks really cool so the, t the team's called cape coast abusa dwarfs so a very obscure team probably not going to be worth the money i paid but i do like the shirt the shirt looks really cool let me stand up actually the pattern of the shirt is really cool look at that I like the logo on the top, um, and it look and it, and it does feel like an actual four XL. I feel like this one. So fair play to Colt Kits because I think they only do up to three XL. So I did say to them with the replacement shirt, can if they have a four XL in any shirt, can they send me a four XL? Which is what they've done. I don't mind that this is an obscure American team. I will Google them later in a minute, just to see. But yeah, it's not bad, is it? So. I'll be back in a sec um, with it on. Here it is on me. Now, it fits really nice. It's not tight at all. It's quite loose, which is really nice. And it feels nice. The material feels nice uh, as well. That's close up of the logo in case people couldn't see it when I showed you when I was holding it. Um, I just love this. The collar is really nice as well. I really, I love the pattern. And um, I found out I got it completely wrong. I thought Cape Coast dwarfs would be like an american team or an australian team i've got it completely wrong they're a team from ghana um so the cape coast mysterious abusa was it ibusia dwarf sorry is a ghanaian professional football team based in cape coast the club competes in the ghana premier league the premier league on the ghanaian football pyramid and holds home games at cape coast sports stadium so there you go um their full name is cape coast mysterious um, Abusia Dwarves Football Club. Um, their nicknames are the Abusia Dwarves, the Crabs, and the Mysterious Dwarves. They've been uh, around for 92 years, since 1932. They play in the Cape Coast Sports Stadium, 15,000 capacity. Um, their manager is Ernest Thompson Quarterly. Their position in 2019-2020 was 16, so this is obviously not very updated. Um, just trying to see if there's anything else worth telling you about. Any noticeable players, former players? No, not by the looks of it. But um, let me just check the references. Yeah, so I'd say that's a thumbs up. So I'd say like not not everybody might like this shirt. People, some people might think, well, oh, I've spent thirty five quid and they give me a shirt from Ghana. Um, I think this is an awesome shirt. I would wear this on an on. I'd probably wear this on a night out. It looks really cool. So. I like shirts that look different, and I like this one. I'm really happy about this one. So double thumbs up for Colt Kilts. Um, thumb, double thumbs up as well to um, oh who was it now? Uh, the the ones in the part of the video I did a minute ago as well for replacing the shirt um with a better one. So I can't even remember what they're called now. Oh well. Anyway, right. And on that note, I'll leave you to it. But I will probably be doing more. I will definitely be doing more mystery shirt videos at some point, but it probably won't be for a few weeks now. I am going to be doing quite a few in the next four weeks, probably going to be doing quite a few fake shirt reviews. I've just done two orders with, uh, I've done an order with Soccer 03, so there'll be another Soccer 03 review video, and I've done another order with another company that I've used before for fake shirts, so we'll be doing them as well. If anybody's got any fake shirt companies you want me to give a try to, let me know and I'll buy a couple of shirts from them. And we'll see how it goes. Please leave a comment uh, of any potential ones. Just tell me the name of the company. I'll I'll find the website because I don't want to get you or me in trouble if you put the actual whole 
address in. Just just give me like the gist of what they're called and I'll find it. But yeah, thank you as always for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a nice day and I'll be back soon with another video. All the best.